Hi, my name is Rahel. I'm doing my research, my critical today about effective music therapy on an anxiety of patient with a breast cancer after a radical mastectomy. Uh, what is the problem about this study? Uh, a cancer diagnosis is the most stressful for a patient and a family. Uh, the patient with the diagnosis with the breast cancer, uh, the very uh, the shock. On top of that, they have this treatment, very powerful treatment, chemotherapy, surgery, radiation therapy, and hormone therapy. Uh, this, all this is a side um, treatment have a lot of side effects, which is, is depression and anxiety. According to this study, uh, between 50 to 86 percent patients suffer with an anxiety level. When you have an anxiety, you have poor appetite, you don't sleep good, uh, so the outcome for a healing process is going to be low because patients, they don't have no motivation to go to treatment. Uh, so they believe um, music therapy can help so by adding a, in conjunction a treatment. So it can be, patient can be more relaxed, uh, can be, you know, the nausea, vomiting can, you know, decrease, anxiety level decrease, patients more motivated, more um, positive uh, to fight the cancer. The problem and the purpose. The problem is music therapy has been in a lot of medical field and healthcare for pain management and the depression. Here for a cancer patient, if there's a few studies, that is the problem, okay? The purpose is, uh, this is a study where it's trying to examine the effects of breast cancer patients, how they be effective after uh, they have musical therapies. But the focus most uh, patients have a mastectomy. This study was done in, in China. The research have a question. The one question is, how is the compare between experimental and a control group? Uh, how the, is the outcome after the, uh, the music therapy? The other question is, how is this patient uh, doing with the treatment after they have the uh, uh, music therapy? They're, they're complying, uh, they are not motiv motivated to go to treatment or ke chemotherapy. So this is the two question the research was questioning, so we will answer in the next slide. Significant nursing practice. Base evidence practice, music therapy have been using for nurses, uh, so they encouraging to use more. Uh, so this has been uh, a lot of hospitals they're using right now, the music therapy. In China, they say, this is a study said in China, some hospital, they already using it. So uh, encouraging more for nurses to use in base evidence practice. A study design. Uh, this study was a randomized. Uh, any patient have a breast cancer, so they participate in that. So uh, they compare experimental group and the control group. And also the conceptual uh, framework was identified as a called whole core care and core model. Uh, that is with uh, the conceptual framework. Independent variable is music therapy. Uh, the dependent variable is improving anxiety in female patient after music therapy. That is a dependent variable. The sample. This study, like I said before, was done in China, an oncology and general hospital. Uh, with the exclusion criteria, patient with breast cancer was admitted to the hospital. Any patient have a breast cancer, that will be a one criteria with exclusion criteria. The inconclusion criteria, the patient with a breast cancer uh, going to a radical mastectomy with ages between 25 and 65. Uh, the data was collected between March and November in 2009. Uh, 120 female patients as participants in the study. 60 was experimental group and 60 was a control group. The 60 experimental group, they have the uh, music therapy and in the nursing care. And the control group, they have only, they have the nurses care. Uh, this, they have uh, three uh, studies they did. Uh, with the first one is before radical mastectomy. The second one is patient before discharge uh, home. The third one is patient when they come back with physical therapy. So what they did is they asked this patient uh, the demographical studies about the age, marriage, 
education level, uh, when is the first time the diagnosis is the cancer. So for experimental group, they explain all uh, the, about the music therapy. So they did give MT, MP3 players and an a, um, headphone. There was uh, about 220 music of the download MP3s, and then a patient can select any music they want to, and then they can adjust all the volume and everything. Now, the control group, like I said before, just only the nurses care before and after uh, the post up and then a pre post up and then after post up care. So, where is um, happen? So, in this study, they do when a patient have a radical mastectomy, they stay at the hospital for two days. In this time, the patient have uh, in the morning and afternoon uh, therapies, which is for three minutes each one. And then when they come back for therapy, was a chemotherapy, they stay at the hospital for seven days. They have two sessions, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. So what is the result about that? The result is they said the experimental group and the control group, they have the same anxiety level during before radical mastectomy. Uh, but after um, radical mastectomy, the experimental group, the anxiety level is lower than the control group. Most participants in this group is between age between 44 to 45 age group. Limitation, self-reported. We can, a patient can say, I'm okay, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm motivated because they're doing the research, so they can line, I'm sorry. Subjective, you know, when you have an anxiety level, you have a heart rate rate. But in this case, we are subjective. There is no objective data. There is no, we didn't measure uh, the heart rate or the nausea, the vomiting. So this is subjective. The control group only receive a nurse's care. Only 120 patient participants in this study say it could be more. And also, uh, they, in the study also said uh, that uh, the post-op care is two days. They stay two days in the hospital, so they can have more musical therapy. They should be staying more in the hospital. That is a limitation. Implication for a practice. Like I said before, musical therapy have been used for a lot of hospitals for pain management. So they encourage for nurses to use musical therapy. Nurses, we should be encouraged. We should be educated. We should be motivated. It is invasive. It is less expensive less technology so we can apply this uh, musical therapy to our patient. Conclusion. The conclusion is uh, they want music therapy will be used uh, in Hall, in China, on here in this country. But the problem is like a few study was done, I've been reading and literature uh, myself also, there's not too much study about the breast cancer, uh, right, um, music therapy. So they want more study have to be done about if, uh, music therapy for a cancer uh, patient after radical mastectomy. Um, so this is continue. Uh, like I said before, we encourage more music therapy for um, patients, but more study have to be done. This is my reference. Um, thank you for listening to me. I hope you, uh, you can um, give me some suggestion or your opinion. Uh, thank you.